Okay, welcome back. So, we are in uh, Alanga Palace. I went up north and decided to get in here. So, let's see who is in here. Warden. Barati pays coin to feed the great eel. The quiet gurgling of the fountain is a constant Will do. backdrop in the spacious chamber. Ooh. Barati. He smells one touched by the great eel, does Barati. The sizable Aumawa tilts his head up and locks down his nose at you, flaring his nostrils with hungry interest. You are a man who sits across a fire with death, Akira? Um... The Pallid Knight and I are on familiar terms. He nods, clasping his hands with quiet delight. For glutting mighty Tangaloa and hurling foes into their next life, Barati can offer payment. Coins for feeding hungry gods, Akira? Akira. Rewarding those who appease the great eel. This is Barati's cause. May the beasts of the Dreaming Lands never know famine. Barati inclines his head and touches his brow, holding the pose with deep reverence. Alright, Barati. What bounties you have available? Tangaloa rolls a hungry eye toward Dichila, a valiant captain who scouts for luminous Adra in sacred lands. Barati squeezes his knuckles until they are bone white. Ooh. Uh, I already dealt with Dishila. With joy, not hunger, does the great eel lash its mighty tail. Dishila has sated the beast for now. Barati passes a, po uh, a pouch of coins and clasps your hand hard. Alright, I got uh, one up. Positive reputation, 1500 coins. What else you have? The jaws of Tangaloa gnash about a Rawatayan captain named Ohiro. Barathi folds his arms and closes his eyes, exhaling sharply. His cannon fire echoes in the ears of slumbering gods. The beast cries out for a more restful dead fire. I'll take the bounty, but cannon fire for now is out of reach because my crew won't heal. Akira, you chose wisely. Ohiro sails the junk stone anchor south of the Kua Orikuhu island chain due east of Nikitaka. The gods will thank you for quieter seas. Barathe inclines his head and touches his brow. Before I go, I had some questions. Ask, but do not keep the great eel waiting. That's it, I don't have any questions. Alright. What is that? Fear Warden. Count here. Another uh, warden, speaker. Yeah, I can't talk to these guys. You songwriters need a guild if you hope to learn discipline. Not so. <sighs> we speak in the tongue of Ngati and Amira. Your pretty dances may upset the puddle, but we command the wind and sky. Hey, I have missed our little talks. <laughs> Akira. Okay. What did he say? Did you arrive? What? Another oh, locked door. We loot to steal. I got a flail, I think. Where is it? Yeah. Ten percent of grace is converted to hits. And damage accuracy pen. Okay. All right. There's nothing of any more use in here. So these these glowing lights are pretty cool. Palace, palace rooftop, those is here. <laughs> I 
Lock the door. Steal the stuff. Steal it. Steal everything. Perfect. I've got it. You bunch of thieves. You dirty thieves. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to the rooftop first. You thieves. Ooh. Fancy. Serpent's crown. Oh. Where is the boss? Nothing hidden in here. How disappointing. On it. Moths of light dart through the winding streams of water like schools of fish. There's nothing in here. Head down. Okay, loading screen, come on. Oh my god, that looks pretty cool. Okay. Ah, so here is the boss. So many people. While I am flattered by the esteemed Hazanui's confidence, I must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight. Um, what? The Valian dignitary aims a withering look across an aisle. The aisle. A middle-aged woman with a square jaw and tar-stained teeth meets it. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. She pulls a slender pipe from her pocket, but at the look from the queen's atten attendants, she puts it away. You speak as if I could command the tides. While you are casting your blame in a wide net, why not look to our Kahunga allies? We do not share their talent for shaping water. A sizable Aumawa standing by the throne takes a bold step forward, flares his nostrils at the assembled dignitaries. A hush falls over the room. I say our guest forgets himself. Oh, it's a prince. He clears his throat and sweeps his gaze from Nero to the rest of the room. So I suppose this is why this uh, place is like the northern part of the entire... Oh, was I supposed to talk to this one about the people down there in the skillet? Brother, stand down. Oh, there's a queen. Okay. Ah, I was supposed to talk to her. Okay. Up to this point, the queen has studied the proceedings with an, e uh, with an even expression. She half rises from her throne as she fixates on Prince Aruihi. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. As Aruihi lowers his head, the queen slowly centers her gaze on you and leaves it there. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. Though her mouth doesn't move, Onekaza's voice comes to you like an insistent memory nestled among the surface th thoughts. Nestled thoughts, okay. Um, nod? Take your head, shrug? Let's... Let's nod. Allow me to apologize as I toss you before the wolves. Oh boy. Though she, 
Though she turns to the dignitaries, you still feel her attention on you. This one is a watcher blessed by Tangaloa. I suspect that many of our questions about her songo will soon be answered. The, queen, the queen's voice fills the expansive throne room, leaving you with a hushed silence to fill. Uh, if it pleases the court, I have journeyed from crippled port Maje. What is this? Valian blood still stains the floors of our offices, and yet this man walks freely into the palace. The Valian dignitary narrows his eyes. Raising her hand for silence, Onekaza looks to her brother. He approaches as they exchange a few words too quietly to hear. She lifts her gaze to you once more. We assembled to discuss the darkening of Hasongo, one of Rawatai's colonies. Watcher, it seems you have the floor. She opens her palm and waits. What is this one? Survival? Passionate. It's possible that Eothas only pauses. Only paused at Hazongo on his way to parts unknown. Rational. Uh, one of these two. Go with this one. Or maybe... No, no. Let's go with we must do something before Eothas tramples yet another settlement. Huh. What sailor's tale is this? There's no sane explanation for what's been happening. We keep waiting for one, it'll be too late. Does tilling the soils of the Eastern Reach drive all men mad? You sound as crazy as the Dawnstar Dreamers. She looks at Adir the way one would look at an especially rabid but fascinating animal. Have you not heard the rumors, Karu? An Adra Colossus marching across the sea. Sailor tales, but credible ones. Nero crosses his arms, looking distinctly uncomfortable. Ganta Nicese. I am acquainted with the Watcher of Cadnua from my assignments in Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. Palagina. Tiverus? It explains the colorful nature of your reports. I have seen things with him that are not even told in the most outlandish of sailors' tales. And I'm supposed to take two Valians at their word? She gestures between Nero and Pale Palagina or Palagina, I don't know. Palagina, maybe? How came a watcher from half the world away to be involved in these happenings? Enlighten the court. Uh... I want to go with the first, um, but I don't know if they will believe that. But we'll, let's go with it. Barath herself sent me to track down Yothas, although uh, maybe second one is a better option. Everyone is in danger while Yothas walks. I must do something. Silence descends in the hall. Courtiers and dele delegates eye one another, seemingly gauging which one of them will be first to love. A stark look from Queen Onekaza turns every questioning glance to stone. Tracking down a god who stands as tall as a mountain, a fisherman with poor eyesight could do this. Oh really? You wanna do it? My priests will trip over their feet to interpret his divine plan. Watcher, can you cut through the din and tell for what he comes to the dead fire? What do I know? Uh... Yes, I plan on using other pillars to track and ultimately confront the others. How resourceful of you. 
The Isles are studded with enough luminous Adra to bankroll an economy. It turns a quiet glance in Nero's direction. I believe our course is clear. We will send the Watcher to Hisongo. Onikaza spreads her hand, calmly assured of her reasoning. Set sail to the west of Nekataka. I would tell you to keep a weather eye out for a lighthouse, but the God of Light did not appreciate competition. Something to add, Hazanui? You have an eager look about you. She believes herself entitled to my ear, I say. Onikaza's gaze wanders back to you only briefly. Only that Hasongo is a Rawatayan outpost. It would be useful for the Watcher to take one of ours along. Mm-hmm. Inclines her chin at another woman standing nearby. Ma'am. Maya. The composed Almawa stands at attention, her furrowed brow cleaving down otherwise warm features. By her feet a colorful bird preens itself without concern. Maya's an expert sailor and a better sharpshooter. The best the Brass Citadel has to offer. She looks you in the eye and gives you a slow nod. Whatever comes your way, she'll see it first. If it gets me and Ashiza out of diplomat duty, we'd set sail with a drunk scolder at the helm. Maya sighs with resignation and nudges her bird affectionately with her toe. And shut us out entirely? We have every right to know of any hazards in these waters. Palagina, go with the Watcher. See that the Republics are served in this investigation. Okay, so it's Palagina. Nira turns to the godlike warrior, standing off to the side. Ah, Your Excellency. Pamed Gong Swalias. Palagina, Palagina's golden eye flash into your, in your direction, but her face betrays no hint of emotion. That will be enough parading of champions for now. I'm certain that our guest knows how to assemble a crew. Can I take both? I need all help I can get. Akira, if you can stand the chattering of unlike minds <laughs> on your ship, that is your prerogative. Onikaza blinks with amusement as she takes note of the look that Maya and Palagina exchange. Yes, oh, please, let's accustomed do it. to cramped quarters and temperamental birds. She winks at Palagina. Hands on her hips, on his hips, surfing grins. Truthful, Soti rubs a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. <laughs> we both have our orders. I have no interest in interfering with you as long as you do not interfere with me. I believe we are finished here. Are we here? Queen Onekaza rises from her throne and, she's, and the surrounding guards stand at immediate attention. Aren't we popular? Take care at Hasongo. The dead fire was overfull before Aethus blundered in. Onikaza nods at you as she adjourns. And take care with your trading company spies. Ooh, interesting. They are spies. He glances at Maya and Palagina. I say it is beyond time our guests lick their wounds somewhere else. Guy, you and your diplomacy blow. He banishes the foreign dignitaries with a swift and unmistakably disgu disgusted wave. You must be diplomatic, even with your enemies, you know? That is the only smart move to, you know, it's, it's never smart to do it like that, to be so hostile. Alright, a ranger. A ranger must be even... Actually, I don't know. Ranger? Hmm. Maya is a ranger. Is the ranger better than a rogue? Wait a minute, what is that? What, what, why is there two buffs on them? Hmm? By the way, I'm not picking multi-class, not because of this, um, like, new player thing. I'm not picking multi-class because... Uh, there is literally not enough points to multi-class. I would like to have specific characters, you know, instead. I don't need her though, she's a paladin. I might just go with multi-class with her. Paladin Chanter. Um, 
could go with Harold here. Not sure. I don't need her though. But you know what? Let's go with Paladin Chanter. Fighter I don't want. Fighter I have. Although it would be interesting to pick a Paladin and a Fighter. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I can replace him. You never know. It might be a good option. We'll see. She could fill roles. Um, I want to try out the Ranger. I really do. But I also want to play around with the Rogue a little more. Damn it! My party is too small. I wish I had seven. <laughs> or at least six. The problem, uh, the problem here is that I need at least two tanks, right? That's one problem. Second problem is I cannot dismiss the Cypher because he's pretty good at crowd control and blinding and uh, shielding. It's, he's too valuable to ditch. She is too valuable to ditch as well because of the heals mainly she provides. This is the only slot that I have free and I can test out things, you know, so I don't know. Let's see. I think having them both in one party would be a mistake, but we'll see what happens next. While we have the chance. Okay, we have dialogue. Oh, the other one was about to level. But um Shall we level now? Sure. Okay. Okay. 13 athletics. Goes one more. Intimidation, religion, survival. Intimidation jumps up too. I'm not sure though. Diplomacy might be better, but um, it's 10. Let's go with intimidation. Next. Okay, we got our next slot unlocked. Is this? Uh, destroyed. Accuracy versus will. Abjuration. Through force of will, paladin can destroy any spirit or summoned creature below the... Oh, paladin's level. Spirits and summoned creatures equal two or greater than the paladin's level take raw damage. I have two points. Wait one second. Hold on a moment here. I gotta see... I never use this one. What is that? 20 deflection for 12 seconds. Fit for 12 seconds. Not really. Plus 2 max health. Increases the base maximum health as you gain with each level. I only get 2 max health with each level. That is shit. But if I take it, I have to take it now. Oh my god. Immunity to disease poison attacks. Yes, please. That is a no-brainer. Wow, I take immunity to anything any day. Five resistance. Gain a small amount... Uh, a sm gain a small chance to completely avoid any attack and to convert some hits to critical hits. That's a good one, too. What about this? 15% healing done. Meh. Although it might be good to have... Oh man, so many things to pick, actually. Even though this is kind of crap, I still want it. Because every level will get more and more and more. But then I need like 10 levels to gain some 20 health. I don't know if it's worth it. That is so little plus 2 max health. Let's see. So this thing uh, blinds for 8 seconds. So... <clears throat> So once they're blinded, if I take Inspired Beacon, they take plus 40% damage for 8 seconds. Or... Allied AoE, 15 deflection for 8 seconds, that's a good too. I think... I think 40% damage is better, Inspired Beacon. Then the target that you're tanking will go down easier. Oh man, what do I do? Do I take this or not? 
tough. Mm, I really want the immunity as well. Let's hold on on, on this for now. Screw it, I'll go with it. It's not as good, but... I'll have a bigger health pool. No matter how small it is, it's still something. Okay. I think I need to get every point that I can get. So I have a decent HP pool so I can live longer and actually have a time to be healed. Okay, athletics is pretty good at for now. Um, I have still not used any explosives. God damn it. Let's start using them, right? Would be a good idea. Survival and streetwise. Okay, let's see. Now this is interesting. This is interesting. I am actually regretting taking this because it takes two discipline. I should have read that before. Cost two discipline is too much. What is this one? Also max health. Okay. Plus for deflection. Same thing. Minus 25 armor recovery penalty. That's a good one too. What is this? 50% of damage taken converted into healing for 15 seconds. <gasps> oh my god. What? Yes. What? That's that's great. Wait a minute. Cost. Oh, it's a, it's a Ah, damn it. I forget. This is not a This is not a um passive. Oh. Think how crazy this would be if this was like passive i thought at first that if you get hit then after that hit for 15 seconds but it's not it's and it costs three discipline that's a lot that's a crap load of discipline so what are those flexion and accuracy minus five recovery per threatened target plus three enemies engaged Current bonus is 0% because it's not applied probably. Minus 5% damage taken per engaged target. I think I'll go with that. Because there are moments where I literally have to use it or else it's just we're getting wrecked. But that second uh, bonus is gone. Oh. Oh, you have a pet. Oh my god, we get a pet? Awesome! What is that? Take down combo. Primary attack, accuracy versus fortitude, 100% damage taken for 8, se eight seconds. Accuracy versus fortitude. Instruct the ranger animal companion to rush target, knocking it prone. Cool. Take down combo. The next attack on the target deals greatly increased damage. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is nice. So she's level 7 or what you level is she? Level 9 actually, she's leveled up. Okay. Um. I don't even know why I'm leveling this alchemy, I haven't been using alchemy. But screw it, let's go for 10 then. Or actually, let's go for arcana instead. Um, diplomacy, religion, survival, history. History is so low. History it is. I'll probably have to retrain these guys at some point. Just 15 healing done. Uh, don't need that on her. And action speed with spells. Oh god, that's good too. What have we got here? Allied AoE, revive with 50 health. Mm, don't know how useful that is actually. Basically they can get revived and then die instantly right after. 
Searing Seal. A damaging spell. If successful, blinded for 15 seconds. I'll probably go with that if... Acute for 60 seconds. Cannot die for 10 seconds. You still need to be able to cast it, you know? Last time is pretty quick though. Half a second. Resolute... Resolute Tenacious for 30. First three enemies engaged for 30 seconds. Uh, what does this use? I'm gonna take that. It's very useful. There were so many moments that I wished I could cast something like that and I didn't have the spells. I used to the I used the spell to hibernate basically. Um stealth mechanics, more of mechanics please. And bluff. Next. What do we have for you? Attacker stunned. Stunned for 10 and take damage. That's not important. That's not important. No. Plus 20 range with spells. Range is not exactly... Um, plus 10 focus. That's a good one. I got two points. 20 accuracy, plus 20 the old defenses for 30 seconds. That's self for target minus. Ne okay, intellect. Accuracy fortitude to destroy, to matters push. Allied, resolute for 30, immunity. OAOE to concentration attacks. Can't open more than three windows. For target, dominate. Dominate? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I can dominate targets? Alliance flipped! Holy shit! Wow, okay. Okay, that's cool. Action speed is great. Now I have... Uh, now I have to choose between this... Then focus or... Actually, I don't really need the focus. Let's go with action speed. Oh, that's a good spell. It uses 50 focus though. Oh shit, I might need the focus for beginning of the battle fight with this. So like... Enemies wreck the target that I dominate. Huh? But I... What is my... Um, hmm, let me think. Yeah, if I want to effectively use this, I might have to give more, get more focus. That's another 10 focus. So let's see, I, if I get 10 focus now, how much will he have? 25. So if I get another one, I will have 35. Damn it, I need 50 for that spell. Speak freely. Look at all those spells, I don't know nothing of them. Ahoy. 50. It can be used only once. But it's still good if it lands though. This is ac- wait. Um, this is accuracy of 52 that I have currently versus will. So if they have higher will, it will not work. God, I need accuracy. I gotta check which Captain. of these guys have accuracy bonuses. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna stop here and pretty much start another episode after this. So join me in the next one.